create detailed view. In this lecture, we will see how to make detail to view. Before making that one, you can see here when we made this platform view, I just placed here like this. But when I made this one, I told we will see in the next lecture. I told so we need to arrange this one here. Actually, this one from this one. 10 number we have plates so we need to arrange that one so i just go to the offset tool make it 10 number and select this one and make it offset inside like this and select this one explode it okay now we don't want these lines and these lines and these lines also here we have two lines just just remove that line only one line is enough now this is that line. Press it right and it can be like this. We need we have 10 number plate. Go to offset tool, make it 10 number, and I just offset like this. Now go to the rectangle. Before making rectangle, you can use trim also. Just go to the trim and you can remove this trim. Now go to the rectangle and I just make a rectangle like this. This one, place it in object plate. Now we don't want these lines. And this one, okay. When you look, you will get it like this. One. Good. We, we made this one, then only you will come to know what is this one. That's why I didn't told about this one. Okay, now you will understand why we made this thing here. So select this one and go to the mirror tool, and I just click here and I just place it like this. Now we don't want this line up to here, you can place it here, just like this, or you can use trim. Or you can use stretch whatever you want, you can use it the problem. Now this one we need to make detail. Okay, so this is the detail to view, and you can make see the elevation, this elevation, how it is the same way we will make the detail view. But we take from this plan view, you can use it, or you can mark it here also. Okay, so better clarity you can make uh, these all the things lot of information you can give so better clarity we can make this orientation that is better so I just copy this one select this and go to copy I just click here and I place it here like this now we don't want this one you can use plane or you can make a break tool also you can use if you go to the express tool, you will get a break line symbol and I just click here and the second point I make it here and I just need it here so I click this location you will get it like this. If you want to make scale down and all you can do it this one and this is more than enough I just keep it like this. Go to the trim tool and trim and remove like this. Now, if you want, you can use it this angle or you just you can take it. This one don't want this much. I just place it here. Now, need this one plan view also we need. So, I just copy this area and you can use any area. Okay. Uh, this one is better because it is coming exactly this view. So, you can select this one and you can use it. Select that one and just copy here and place it. Now select this one, delete it and select this, go to rotate, I just click here, this one we need to rotate in clockwise direction, so minus 90, enter. Now we can place it exactly here, so I just go to the move, select this one, enter, click here and I just click, just come here and I will drag it and it will place it like this. This is enough, if you want you can use the same symbol here also. Go to Express Tool, break line, and I just click here somewhere else, and I just place. click here, click here, because the scale is very less. Again, I just go to the starting point, ending point, because its scale is very less, that's why it's come not coming. And you can scale down, and you can use it also, or you can just simply use this line. Okay, then you can just trim it. Here also you can use it. Very simply you can use it. Trim through also. Just it's okay. You can make this one uh, in object layer or any some other layer if you want. You can fix it and you can make it also. 
Now it is ready and this diamond is also now we don't want. We will make the dimensions. Go to the break, just click here and you can break it. Now this one is ready. Now you can see this base plate it is coming below this UPN. So we need to make that one in hidden line. That is very important. Whenever we make CAD, we need to see all the things perfectly. So I just make so people will understand that plate is coming below this. So just make it hit. Okay. So now it is perfect. Now we need to make dimensioning and all whatever the dimension we want, we can make here. See here. Uh, this one, this one, it is coming from this point. We didn't mention anywhere. Okay, we need to use from here. So just go to the dimension, make it dimension D15, and here selected this one. Go to the limit. Just click here, and I place it here like this. Just come like this and place it. Okay. Now people will understand. This is 10 mm. We have gap here. Then go to dimension again. And we have this this side also. We need to make dimensions so people can understand. We can keep this one when we uh, when they start to fabricate. They understand this one. We need to be like this. Then we need to place the base plate dimensions and adjust the like this base plate dimension. Then hole is not in center of this beam. So hole we need to mark that one. Just go to the linear. And I click here. And I click here, you can place it like this. So from this point, we have 16 mm of the hole. So on this side, it is centered. If you want, you can make that also. Just go to the linear, and I click here, you can make one there. It is exactly in center. If you want, you can make it. Otherwise, we understand it is in center. So this is enough. And here, uh, we need to make this, this one size. Go to the linear and this one actually no need uh, uh, foundation people they will take care but if you make the one you can make, make this one also now go to the linear again and i just click here you can make this dimension also high this is important and i just make this crowd size also now it is ready then uh, we have another one thing uh, we have this this plate, this plate dimension, we didn't give any words. Just make here only the chance to make this dimension. Okay, so it is finished. If you want to make any other dimension, you can make also. Now we need to mark this this one first. Uh, this thread where we need to fix. So that also you can mark. Gives it this one. Okay. Better you can use this dimension. From here also that is better and in this also it is okay. Then go to the align dimension and I click here and I go to the perpendicular, place it this one 10 mm. So this is very important dimension when they fix that is very important in erection. So this is the way then we need to if you want to make this uh, size and all if you can already we mentioned the size here. If you want to make same like this. You can make the dimension also. Then select this text and copy and place it here. And this is detail. Just place it like this. This is detail to now select this one little bit more towards this text. Just place it like this. So this is the way to create detail view in AutoCAD. If you want more detail, you can make more detail. See here this area and this area and a lot of areas. Okay, if you want, you can make detail same way. 